YouTube my subbies so just got of aerobics we ran two laps on the short track at school yeah I hit me it's over just so y'all know it's over it's over for y'all <laughs> if you touch me but anyway I'm about to go get some food get some nourishments for my body because it's tired <laughs> so yeah I need to be working on my RA rehire presentation. I'm doing a video this year. So I cannot wait to see how that goes. <sighs> this is so much. I'm so tired. But I think this is like the last aerobics class. So yeah, it was a half semester class. But it was great. You know, got to do a little workout and then two major. But now I'm tired. <laughs> Okay guys, for lunch I grabbed a $5 combo. Every day there's like a combo that you can get for $5. You got a um, pulled pork sandwich with fries and it comes with a drink. So yeah, every day there's a different one. But one day there's a sub one and you get like chips and a drink. But I love Wednesdays, so it's really good. The fries have been so much better. Okay, so me and my friends decided to go to the pool today. It was my idea. Is that a Doctor Who? Well, anyway, yeah. So we decided to go to the pool. So I'm walking over. There's Kanisha now. <laughs> She's ahead of the game. Okay. Yep, pool flow. Pool, 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 pool. Pool, who's hiding? <laughs> oh, my clothes look good right here. Hold on, honey. I'm so done with her. This water is scorching. They tell me something. This feels feel good. Feel I can't so even good. get all the way in there, y'all. I'm too cold. Let me go ahead and get on the snap. <laughs> I'm currently editing I um for the new wig that I made I made a video on how I create wigs well it's just uh, about the hair but I'm showing you guys the process because I do get asked like how do you make wigs sometimes so I um that's what this video was about it's really sped up though because I didn't want to make it too long and I figured like you guys see that I'm just going you know threading over and over and over and over and over and over again so I don't want to make it too long but I do show you like the full process of me making the wig so I show you how I sew down the closure really flat and how I do all of this you know up until the ending how I get all up in there you know cutting stuff off and styling I'm trying to decide if i'm just gonna like voice over this part but i do want to um talk about the hair a little bit like the updates and such but i don't know but this is pretty much all i have so far and yeah so i don't know hmm. okay guys so i am about to make um some kleenex or tissue holders for my car to go on both of the visors in the front so I just got a box of Kleenex from Walmart. This only cost 98 cents. And these two pieces of felt were 23 cents each. And I already had some sewing thread. I already had this elastic, which I'm gonna put on the back of it. But this elastic I bought at Hobby Lobby and I mostly use it for um, just around my wigs. And I'm just gonna use some sewing thread that I got for hair because that's what I have on hand. And I'm just gonna use the curved needle. I had, I do have regular thread, but I feel like this would just be the easiest. And this thread is very sturdy and strong. And I just have a pair of scissors here. So like I said, this is gonna be super simple. I'm just gonna fold it in half, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna sew this, like stitch it all along here. And then, yeah, I already measured it. So folding it in half, I took a tissue out, and it's gonna fit in here pretty nicely. But I'm gonna stay really close to the edges. So I can have like space to fit multiple tissues, but I am going to end up cutting a hole in the center, like an oval to put tissues in and stuff. And then we're going to attach the elastic to the back, but we are going to sew this like to seam and flip it inside out. So let me go ahead and like figure out how big I want the hole to be. Okay. So I already made one. This one has a larger opening in it, but I turned it inside out. So it just looks like this. Now this is the other one. I made the hole smaller and this is just it not flipped inside out. You don't even have to flip it. It's kind of cute with the stitching, but you just simply like pop the corners out. So once you pop the corners out, 
and just get it some shape. It looks like this. So this one is a little smaller. So this is the way that I'm gonna attach the elastic on the back. So since it is a little bit of elastic, I don't I didn't measure inside the car, but I'm just gonna like do a little bit bigger than the width of this, the length of this. So I'm probably just gonna make it like from like just a little bit bigger than the thing itself. And I'm gonna do that on both sides of this. And then I'll see you guys when I finish installing the elastic. Okay, so it's completed. So I actually decided to make it sort of box shape. It's not completely even, don't judge, but for a dollar and like 50 cents, I think this turned out really good. So it looks like this and the elastic straps in the back. You could really do one, but since my, um, since my car has the little mirror inside, I have some cardstock paper here. So I just kind of cut a little bit of the, like about a finger space of the cardstock off and I folded it like not even down the middle. And I'm just gonna place this inside of it to give it a little bit more stability. Cause I find that um, the tissues were a little difficult going in when it was just like, you know, just the tissues trying to hold on to themselves. So now I'm gonna put the tissues inside and I just kind of get one side nice and flat first and then I work on the other side. Yep, and now I have two complete tissues. So this one has a bigger opening and this one has a smaller one, but I think it's really cute and the paper gives it a little stability on the inside. I think this one could use some more, but they don't take up much space face they're pretty flat like you could probably keep this in your glove compartment if you want it but um yeah the box of tissue that I bought from Walmart was only 98 cents these are very cute I'm gonna put these in my car and I'll show you what they look like okay so I tried to take pictures with flash and for some reason my phone was acting wonky but this is what it looks like it's hanging from the visor I thought my mirror was in the middle but it's not but I put it really far to this edge so I still have a good amount of mirror access and it still does not take up much room here. So I'll insert a picture of it in actual daylight, but I was just really anxious to get them in the car. So I came out and put them in the car. All right, we're volunteering today. We're going to the zoo with Keisha, Jonikia. This is a vlog, yes. <laughs> I'm so done. We don't know what we're doing, but you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be lit. Yeah, maybe we feed the animals or something. It's a lot of us. All right, so we're gonna do the, the raking of the leaves. We have plenty of rakes. Okay. All right, Nick. I am vlogging. Desiree. Okay, Desiree mm -hmm. been on me. She been on my case all day. I am suing you for not asking me. You mean your rights? You need I'll blur your face out there. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. You're using my voice about my I'm going to change your voice. It's not going to be your voice no more. You're robbing me. Okay. Yeah, it's awesome. Look at I'm all this Get out of my shot, Desiree. <laughs> you me. I'm trying to show the rakes to the people. What is Tommy? A rake for me. Thank you. Look, can't even grab it. I'm trying to do everything else. Stingray Bay. What's this? It's a float. Yeah. have no clue where we're going, but we're going to rake some leaves somewhere. Look at the people! I was trying to read the sign. I don't know. Is, is that an elephant? Nah, that's a rock. Lion! Very 
look at the Steven Universe. <laughs> look at him. Oh, we right? stopped by the lion. And the alligator come to her. Lion, sir. Lion. Lion. Simba. Mufasa. <laughs> What's that, a cheetah? Yeah. Cheetah. You can't even knock on a glass. Like, that mother don't make no sound. Sir. They just chilling. It's cool. Can you stay back? Oh. Oh, look at the big thingy. What's that? You said it's an elk. Do you know what elk, sir? Look at the birds with their wings spread. Skinny. Ain't y'all supposed to be big? Thanks, hey, sir. It was a good volunteer day, I guess. I'm tired. Got a little, a little glow. Probably to wipe my eyebrows off. Cause I know I wipe my face so many times. First of all, why did you do your eyebrows? <laughs> Look, I just I do not in. edit this out. Cause I want to know. <laughs> All I did was fill them in with a pencil. I ain't even do no what you call. What you call it? Um. Nah, I ain't even do no um. Oh, the, the, the gel. Yeah. <laughs> I just did a little pencil. Called it a day. Man, he could have drove us back. <laughs> we ain't walk over here. Oh. You gonna play that? I told you what you like, Miss Johnson. That was nice. Yeah, some barbecue ribs and. What was it? The mac and cheese and the more collard green that they don't cut up and find in there. Mm -hmm. I was literally just home the other day and this tree didn't bloom. Batman out here eating grass. You need to stop. I think he's trying to throw it. I'm just going to let him because I think they be cleaning their stomach out or something. So I'm gonna let him eat the grass and he's gonna throw up. Nasty. I actually am. I have a phobia of vomit. Like, I have a whole phobia. Like, my friends already know. <laughs> if you get sick around me, I'm out. Like, I'm gone. Like, I left before you even come out the building. You could just be looking sick and I'm just gonna be out. But my dog is not as gross, but when people do it, it's so nasty. Like, I just got to get up out of there, like, real quick. <laughs> this is what always happens. I bring Batman, no, I bring Bono and Batman to play out here. Batman ready to go. 
Bono just out here having the time of his life. Come on. Come on. Come on. You ready? Go get it. Like, time of his life, man. And Batman is trying to escape. He's always trying to escape. Hey, you guys. So, I'm at my house. I just came from getting food. I went to American Deli. Yeah, I went to American Deli and got some wings. Of course, I ate it already. And I have the dogs in the car with me. But it's getting like the weather looks like it's about to rain. Like, I didn't know it was going to rain. Like, I need to go. Mm -mm. Can't be out here in the rain. So, I'm going to walk the dogs really quickly. And probably like head back to school. Because I don't have time. And I really need to work on my rehire presentation for RA stuff and I don't I haven't recorded yet and I want like three people to like I want three of my residents or residents now or like current residents I want previous residents and current residents because I lived I've been an RA for like three places on campus so I want to get like their feedback and I need to work on I need to do a layout. So yeah. My interview is on the, my interview is on the 27th. Today's the 23rd. So I have really I have until Sunday to get my stuff down packed. So yeah. What is my car doing? Oh. Okay, guys, so I have I have finally successfully given plasma. Woohoo! It didn't even take that long this time. I was there probably for a good two hours. Um, the first hour was just, you know, doing the screenings and the little testing. You have to watch this video. I've seen that video three times, y'all. Like, God, dog. <laughs> um, but you know what they say, third time is the charm. The process was fairly easy. Um, I had no complications um, when she first put the um, when I made it back to the floor You know, they have these little chairs where you sit with like your your you lay down with your legs up And um, you can't cross your legs or cross your arms or anything like that because you know to cut off circulation You can't eat back there or like drink anything So um, if you're thirsty a little bit before we well, should be well hydrated before you even make it to this point but um you should definitely like they ask you like before you get started hey do you have to use the bathroom uh, if you're a new donor um do you have to use the bathroom or you know do you want a sip of water so i was like yeah let me go hit the bathroom <laughs> so yeah after that you know i laid down again she told me you can use your phone or whatever things you have um but don't like talk like they don't want you to chew or drink or anything like that and yeah you can't talk so you can watch tv they do have tvs in there like on every row and it was pretty nice and clean the staff were very friendly they explained everything to you about what they're gonna do how the process is gonna go it's like really three parts of what goes into um you donating plasma so the first part is you know they're gonna they check your veins so they check both arms to see which one be better suited or better match and she ended up going with my right arm which is fine because i like driving my left hand but go back a little bit last time the only my issue was that my pulse was too high everything checked out this time obviously since i was able to donate she put the needle into my right arm it's kind of like a little it's not really that thick but you can see the hole in it that's like a little like a cylinder type thing so they stick that inside your arm. It is a little pressure at first, but after the initial stick, it doesn't hurt anything. They also put like a little cuff around your arm that um, you probably have, remember when you like, you know, had your blood pressure checked before, like how it gets tight. So basically when the cuff is tight on your arm, you're supposed to do this motion. It really helps if you um, have like a stress ball or something. But since I had my jacket, she was, she kind of balled my jacket up for me and was like, hey, just squeeze this like that, like this. So that's what i did and it kind of makes your blood flow so when the cuff is tight you um you, you do the um open close fist motion and then when the cuff releases on your arm the second part is that they are giving your red blood cells back so again the first part is them taking the red blood cells and the plasma then the machine separates the plasma from the red blood cells then they give you red blood cells back three processes each you know obtain the plasma then give the red blood cells back and then obtain the plasma give the red cell red blood cells back and the last return is they're um giving you this saline solution which is going to replace your plasma in the meantime 
Um, now, when you are getting the saline, um, I've already done some research. Like, I researched this heavily before I decided that I even want to do it. But um, the um, the saline solution is very cold. Like, I was in there shivering. And, of course, the nurses were really nice, you know. The last two times I've went, this one and the last time, I feel like I had the best treatment and experience and stuff like that. So, they're really nice, constantly checking on me. Like, they don't let you go to sleep or anything. Most times when something's not right with somebody, you can tell by their eyes or their facial expressions and things like that. So, the whole process didn't take long. So, me, I think it was like 2.13 or something when I really got hooked up on the floor and things like that. And I was out at like 2.55, something like that. So, that's when my process was complete. Um, it didn't take long at all and it went really good so that's good like it wasn't horrible <laughs> um the only thing was some points i don't know but i feel like at some points i felt like i had to poop <laughs> is that irrelevant i don't know i don't know it was weird but the whole process was really pretty much easy they hook you up the machine does everything they tell you what all the little buttons on the machine does digital screen what is going on so the whole process was fairly easy um it was enjoyable they had like spider-man movie playing on sci-fi and i had my phone which i didn't even use my phone much because some points i was like really i don't know like just wanted to move around and stuff but you really can't like so the arm that they use so i do have a bandage on my arm right now and they told me to keep the bandage on for about two hours or so and yeah i feel fine i'm gonna go get some chick-fil-a fries they do tell you not to eat like fast foods or like beef or pork or anything like that after donating but they do say eat a light meal and they said stay away from fried foods like burgers and stuff but look your girl really wants <laughs> some chick-fil-a fries so yeah I'm so my payment card is in here it's just a little red card and it just says csl plasma it's a rewards card i'm actually not going to use the card <laughs> um at this moment so i'm probably just going to save the card for i don't know a time when i just need to have it you know so like i feel like i'm good on funds right now but me just having this payment card here um just available so if i do get in a hard time then i can use that but at the moment i'm good so i'm not just gonna go blow through you know my payment card that they gave me so i do have to come back but like i was saying so i do have to come back for a second donation because i guess they have to compare the first and the second um samples that they receive from you so i do that i have to come back march 2nd or after that date but not before march 2nd to get the second one and then you get paid for that one as well so yeah i'm not going to spend my um the money that they gave me at the moment or probably any time this week or anything like that because i'm good <laughs> but i think it's a really cool backup plan so i think that i will continue to like donate and stuff like random times just to kind of build like a little stash of money on my card like that sounds like a great plan but yeah so i'm just gonna go get some fries <laughs> see you guys later